All right, thanks for watching. And today, again, just improvised, I would like to prove the properties of exponential functions, which you may or may not have seen before. And by the way, uh, how do I define the exponential function e to the x? I just define it as the unique solution of f prime of x equals to f of x with f of 0 equals to 1, and moreover, I assume f is positive. Perhaps you can prove it from the differential equation, but right now I don't know how on the spot. But just from those three properties, I want to show, first of all, that e to the x plus a plus a equals to e to the x times e to the a. And the cool thing is, by the way, those are basically the only differentiable functions for which this property holds. All right, how do you show this? Well, consider the following function. f of x equals to, um, or even before, of say, e to the x plus a. So let's call this function f, just the exponential function. And let's just show with this property that f of x plus a is f of x times f of a. Where x and a are any constants. So now let g of x be f of x plus a over f of x. And that's completely fine since we assume f is positive. Then let's differentiate this using the q chen loop. So that's equal to f prime of x plus a times f of x minus f of x plus a f prime of x over f of x squared. But again, what is the defining property of f? Is that f prime equals to f. So this is f of x plus a times f of x minus f of x plus a times f of x over f of x squared, bang, bang, and this disappears. So g prime equals to zero, and therefore, maybe Rolle's theorem or something, or maybe it's called Fermat's theorem, so g of x is a constant. Yeah. Now, how do we define, determine this constant? Well, we get f of x plus a over f of x equals to the constant. In particular, just plug in x equals to 0 to get f of a over f of 0. New, new whiteboard. Let's be clean. x equals to 0. We get f of a over f of 0 equals to c. f of 0 is just 1. So. And therefore, our constant is f of a. Particular, g of x becomes f of a. But what was g? It was f of x plus a over f of x equals f of a. And lo and behold, this function, the exponential function, satisfies f of x plus a equals to f of x times f of a. Wow! So again, just from first principles, you derive that. Next step, let me show that f of, I guess, x minus a equals to f of x over f of a. Now, you could do it the same way, but turns out there's an easier way of doing this because notice, um, let's see, f of x minus a, by the property I've just shown, that's f of x times f of minus a. Now let's try to calculate f of minus a. And notice the following, f of a minus a, that's f of zero, and by definition, that's one. And so f of a times f of minus a, that equals to 1. And again, assuming this is, 
I guess we might not even need that it's positive. Maybe non-zero is enough. We get f of minus a equals to 1 over f of a. So using this property here, we just get f of x times 1 over f of a, which is f of x over f of a. So you have shown that if you want e to the x minus a, it's e to the x over e to the a. And this, is, this just means e to the minus a equals to 1 over e to the a. That's good. Last but not least, let's show the third property of e to the x. So step three. Let's show basically that e to the x to the a is e to the x a. So in other words, let's show, um, how can we say, yeah, f of x to the eighth power is f of x a. And for this, let's just calculate, I don't know, f of x a to the one over eighth power. So let g of x be this. And let's calculate g prime of x. And by the way, this is not an exponential. This is not like 2 to the x. I'm just taking f of x and raising it to a fixed power. So it's just a power function. So there's no contradiction here. So then g, of, g prime of x is 1 over a f of x a to the 1 over a minus 1. And then the derivative of that, f prime of x a, and then the derivative of x a with respect to x, which is a. The a's cancel out. And now remember, f of x a, sorry, f prime of x a is just f of x a. Because remember, the main property of exponentials is that f prime equals to f. And then if you add that up, so it's f of x a to the 1, this cancels out, and we get f of x a to the 1 over a, which is just g of x. So g prime equals to g of x, and therefore, in particular, let's calculate g of 0. That's f of 0 to the 1 over a, and that's 1. Because remember, f of 0 was 1, 1 to the 1 over a is 1. In other words, we have g prime equals to g, and g of 0 equals to 1. But there is just one function which satisfies that, namely f, so g of x equals to f of x. And therefore, what do we have? f of x a to the 1 over a equals to f of x. And therefore, f of x a equals to f of x to the eighth power. Ta-da! And this is the third property we wanted to show. Uh, and I think from this, we can also get the properties of ln from that. Um, I mean, I was saying, for example, let's show of ln of a, b. So ln of x, y equals to ln of x plus ln of y. But that's shot as follows because e to the x plus y equals e to the x times e to the y. And then basically, uh, if you take ln, we get x plus y. Um, no, let's not, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Maybe for another video. Um, all right, so I hope you like this little extravaganza, again, improvised extravaganza um, of the properties of exponential functions. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.